local, quick, and to the point. WDEF News 12 this morning continues now. Good morning, welcome back. Well, if you were thinking of adopting a pet, but just maybe you haven't had time to look around, we've got some great news for you. News 12 has teamed up with McKamey Animal Center in an effort to help you find the perfect companion. Joining me this morning from McKamey, we have the lovely Karen Walsh. Karen, who do we have this morning? This is Abilene. Oh my gosh. And she is a lovely girl. She's a little <laughs> nervous here, but she's relaxing now. Yeah, she started to perk up a little <laughs> bit as soon as uh, we got started here. You're just a natural for the camera. Look at her. So now, but she's got a special story. She does. She came in as a stray. One of our officers found her out in the city, but she was injured. We think she'd been hit by a car, so mm. her back leg was uh, pretty torn up at mm -hmm. the time, but not broken, which was the good news. So she's taken a few weeks to recover, and now she's doing just great, and she's ready to find her new home. But that was the recovery process and the help that you guys provided her was all thanks to a special fund that you have there at McKamey. Right. We have a fund called the Angel Fund that you can access on our website. And it helps animals like Abilene here that have additional needs beyond what we can normally do in a shelter. Mm -hmm. But it also helps people keep their pets instead of having to relinquish them to the shelter. Um, so it's a dual purpose fund and it really helps save lives in Chattanooga. So we love those people out there that donate to the Angel Fund. Yeah, and definitely, you know, if you don't feel like you're able to adopt a pet, you know, it's, it, but you want to help out what that's right. one of the best ways you know to do it it is because it helps fund these animals that need that extra help you can see uh, where your money is going to right. uh, abilene Somebody. looking uh, nice and healthy this morning so now you're you're getting ready for saint patrick's day we are all the, through the month of march we do a luck of the irish special and so when you come in to adopt you get to choose your little shamrock, and then on the back of the shamrock, there's discounts. So 10% off. We actually had somebody yesterday to get 50% off That's awesome. on their adoption fees and, and the uh, additional things that they're getting to t take home with them. So that's all for the month of March? Yes, through the month of March. Okay. That's our month's uh, March special. Fantastic. And uh, Miss Abilene, she's ready for uh, St. Patrick's Day <laughs> as well. Got her green on. You won't get pinched. Now, what else have you got going on? Uh, we've got Yappy Meow coming up later mm -hmm. in the month, so mark your calendars, start watching our website for the different months that we're doing Yappy Meowers. Um, and uh, we also are still doing bully blockade surgeries. That's we're right. almost done with that grant. Uh, we are looking to re-up that one because it's been so successful. So mm -hmm. if you have a pit bull or pit bull mix and you live in the city, now's the time to get that dog spayed or neutered before we have puppies everywhere. Unwanted puppies are one of our biggest problems through the spring um, and kittens as well. So if yeah. you're if you've got an intact animal and you're looking for spay neuter options, um, there's lots of them available in our community. Give us a call and we can hook you up. You also wanted to mention the rabies clinic that you guys do. Right. Every Wednesday we do a rabies clinic at the center. Um, it's from 9 to 5. It's $10 for a rabies vaccination and you don't have to be a city resident for that. Uh, any pets from anywhere will vaccinate for rabies. Uh, it used to be that rabies was a huge problem in, in this community and across the state of Tennessee. And since more and more people have been vaccinating, and the USDA actually drops baits down in the spring for raccoons and those types of animals to eat that vaccinates that wild animal population oh, too. Wow. So we're doing a lot better now in Tennessee with rabies control, but that doesn't mean that you should stop because that's when we start having outbreaks and it's a dangerous disease. We can get it and it will kill us. Yeah, absolutely. So very important to vaccinate your pets really for rabies. There. So that's every Wednesday. Every Wednesday, nine to Perfect. five for anybody. All right, well, thank you, Karen. We're going to put you. some information up on the screen. If you'd like more information on Abilene or any of the other wonderful animals there at McKamey, you can always stop by and see them. Give them a call or head to their website. It's McKamyAnimalCenter.org. Stay with us. We'll be right back.